when it comes to being entertaining, this film really just, I don't know, didn't really deliver for me in that aspect. It's really just a whole lot of people just talking. It's always just getting together and talking. And there's a few parts where things kind of pick up and it's a little bit more interesting and entertaining, but for the most part, it's kind of like slower. It's just it's just people talking about the events that are occurring and making decisions as to what they should have. And then every once in a while you have a freak out moment when they all freak out or one person freaks out because of what they realize is actually happening. And so it's it's kind of fun, but it's not the funnest film I've ever watched by any means. Um, the thing that does make it somewhat entertaining is the more the questions that it kind of brings with it and makes you think about rather than actually watching what's happening on screen. So, I don't know, not really an entertaining film. It's not one that I would put up there to go and watch. It's not something that I'm ever really probably going to watch again, to be honest with you. But it was entertaining at parts and it's a little bit more interesting and intriguing than it was entertaining. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that. The story of Don't Look Up is really not all that complicated. Basically, there's a meteor that's coming towards Earth, one that's big enough to wipe out all of civilization as we know it, it'll basically kill all life on the planet. And the movie is basically how people react to that and how people are going to what their decisions are going to be be now that they know that life is essentially going to end and obviously the majority of the film has to do with trying to stop it but then you have a lot of things get in the way of you know these people want to try and make money off of it when they fail and and all these things kind of factor into the story to where it is somewhat interesting to watch just mainly to see how different groups of people react to this really major event that's happening in the film is you don't know what's going to happen and some people obviously just care about stopping the meteor some people want to try and get rich off of it and so there's a lot of a lot of conflicting viewpoints in it and a lot of things that are obviously get people very very upset and so it is very interesting to kind of watch that kind of play out and it also is interesting because it makes you ponder the questions kind of for yourself i mean what if there was a meteor flying at the earth and you only had say 30 days to live what would your thoughts be on that would you be freaking out would you try and do what you could with those last couple of days would you do everything you could to try and stop it to support the cause to stop it and it's just interesting it's just interesting to ponder those things this the main question of this movie that it makes you wonder about is really what is most important in life you know, for some people in these films, it was all about getting that gain and being able to get wealthy from this thing, whereas other people, they valued survival, they valued their family, they valued all these other things. And so that was an interesting question. I did like that it kind of brought that sort of perspective to it. So it was, it was neat. I really, really enjoyed that aspect of it. So first off, when it comes to the cleanliness of this film, it is rated R. So there are a lot of things that are in this film that come with the rated R rating. And one of the big ones for that would be language. There's a lot of language in this film, and it's not simple language. There's a lot of F words and things like that. That is from start to finish. I mean, it is always there. And so that's something that you need to be prepared for in this film. Um, another thing is the, the sex and nudity is not something that's in the film a lot but it is in the film and it comes up particularly at the end there's like an end credit scene in which there are a lot of naked people and so that was kind of a uncomfortable weird scene um the thing that's really disappointing about that particular category is that there's some stuff in there that's just kind of thrown in there like it was just random like oh why is that there and so it's even more disappointing because one i don't want it in there and two it didn't factor into the story or anything at all. It didn't need to be there, which makes it really, really annoying. So those were the kind of the two main things, a lot of language and some aspects of sex and nudity, which is my least favorite thing to find in the films. And so that kind of turns it down. But 
a little bit of alcohol and drug use as well, but nothing super serious in that category. So I would recommend if you are going to check out this movie to first check out IMDb's parent guide on it. It gives you a little bit more of a detailed description of all the things that occur in the film so that you can be more prepared for it. Um, but definitely not one that's the most clean. So. In the end, Don't Look Up is a film that is not the most entertaining, but not boring either. It's one that causes you to ponder a lot of fairly interesting questions and shows you some answers to those questions that others may have that are also fairly fascinating to watch. And so it's interesting and intriguing in that way. Could do a little bit more. I wish it was a little bit more entertaining to just watch through. Um, when it comes to the cleanliness, it struggles quite a bit. Um, it's got some of my least favorite stuff in there that I don't like in films. And so for that reason, on the cleanliness scale, I have to give it a D minus. And when it comes to the actual film itself, I'm going to give it a C. It's kind of eh. I really don't think I'm going to return and watch it again. But it was something that had a little bit to go for it on this first experience. So... That's my thoughts on the film, of course. If you guys have seen it, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.